Hello friends, I'm Ram Lakshmanan. I'm the architect of GCEC, FastThread and EPRO tools. In this short video clip, I'm going to show you how to use our REST API and where it is being used. Okay. How to first, let me answer the first question, how to use our API. It's very simple. So in this is, I'm showing it from the postman. Here you just give our API endpoint. And then here you can choose your GC log file. And then when you post it, that's it. Immediately you're going to get the response back. The response, it gives you all the detailed metrics, all the statistics, the KPIs that you see in the online web application is available to you here. And one of the key element in this response is this web report. See this web report, it basically contains an hyperlink to the GC log that you just analyzed. So I just copied that hyperlink and then if I'm gonna paste it here in my browser, here I'm gonna be seeing the visual report of the GC log file that you just analyzed. You see all the graphs and the metrics coming here, okay? So now let me answer the second question, where these REST APIs will be used. See, we are seeing our REST APIs to be used in two places. First is, we are seeing developers to be using it in their CICD pipeline. The second, the site reliability engineers are using it in the production environment for proactive production monitoring. Okay, now let's talk about the first scenario using it in CACD pipeline. See, th see, this is a white paper in which we have published. We're calling us Micrometrics to Forecast Your Application Performance. It is available in this particular URL. So we expose, our APIs expose a lot of micrometrics. Using this micrometrics, you can capture and identify a lot of production problem, a lot of performance problems right during the code commit time. See, one such micrometric here is called as object creation rate. See, this metric tells you how much objects your application is creating per second. See, here we are seeing object creation rate to be 325 megabytes per second. So, how developers use this in the CACD pipeline? See, once a developer commits his code, maybe at the end of the day or at a certain periodic interval, they run a small performance test. Maybe they run it for a 10 minute window. Once they run the 10 minute performance test, then they capture the, take the GC log file and then they invoke our REST API. Our REST API is going to give you this micrometric called as object creation rate. Say here now, if I'm going to see this object creation rate as 325 megabytes per second, but let's say in your earlier code commit, your object creation rate was only 150 megabyte per second. That means it's indicating that a developer has committed some inefficient code, which is causing your object creation rate to bump up, to jump so high. What happens a lot of time in your test labs or in a performance testing environment, people look only at the macro metrics. What is my CPU utilization? What is my memory utilization? What is my average, uh, what is my average response time? So these are the metrics they look we don't look at these kind of micrometrics. But see, this jump in the micrometric is what manifesting in production as out of memory error, CPU spike. So if we can capture these micrometrics and analyze it through the REST APIs, then you can prevent or mitigate a lot of problems that's gonna happen in the production environment. This is a true shift left strategy, okay? So now let's talk about the second use case where the REST APIs are used. It is used by site reliability engineers in the production environment. Now look at, take a look at this graph. See, this is a graph of a very healthy, this is a heap usage graph generated by GCEC of a very healthy instance. So you can see the full GC running, the memory reclined and dropping all the way to the bottom. Once again, the full GC running, memory dropping all the way to the bottom. I, we see this beautiful sawtooth pattern, but now, Take a look at this graph. Hmm. Here you see the GCs are running repeatedly all the way, but memory is not getting reclaimed. That means it's a classic indication that this application is suffering from a memory problem. But here is, here is what it gets even more interesting. You can see the repeated full GCs started running right around eight o'clock, but out of memory error, I'm getting only at 8.30 or 8.45. So there was a 30, 45 minutes later only out of memory error is happening. 
So if using my REST API, if you can see what is my GC throughput, what is my number of GCs count, and if it starts to increase rapidly, that means you can take your JVM out of load balancer. You can take it out of rotation so that you can minimize your impact, minimize your outages. So this is another use case where, si where this REST API will be of use. Okay. So thank you very much for watching the video clip.